right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, happy Friday, 10 o'clock flow one. We are going to be starting in Shavasana. So when you're ready, you can come down long to your mat. Begin to extend your arms and your legs and close down your eyes. Take a nice full deep breath in. And then give yourself a huge open mouth exhale. Press your belly button to the spine. Allow your area to go. Your next full deep breath in, just begin to take note of the quality of your breath. Notice how you're feeling, where you're feeling, where your breath is sticking and staying in your body today. Is your breath feeling as if it's stuck in the tops of your lungs and maybe a bit restricted here? Or is your breath able to flow a bit more full and fluid, pressing down towards the bottom lobes of your lungs? Allowing your belly button to rise and fall with your spine. Just notice and acknowledge. There's no need to change. There's no need to manipulate. Just begin to meet your body right here where you are today. Beginning to meet your body and your breath. It's okay. Your next inhale, starting at the tips of your toes and the outer layers of your skin. Slowly, gently visualize yourself moving inward. Coming into your layers of skin, into your fascia, into your muscles, your joints, tendons, all the way into your vertebrae. Just noticing tension, tightness, and maybe discomfort. And if you do find a tight space in your body, take a full deep breath in and fill yourself up from front to back and side to side and give yourself a nice loud open mouth exhale, pressing your belly button back into your spine and allowing your air to slowly gently empty out. If you begin to notice points that already feel open, maybe feeling a bit spacious or free, bring a breath that is filled with gratitude and thank your body for that breath that you've been given today. Such a magnificent gift. We'll take two more full breaths. Slow, smooth, and fluid. Feeling into your body and taking that moment to just meet and greet your body, your breath, and your emotional body for today, knowing that each constantly change with each breath, each moment. Your next inhale, bring your left hand onto your heart, plant your right hand onto your abdomen, and one more time, feel your breath. Your inhale comes in cool, your exhale leaves your body just a bit warmer, and with your left hand on your heart, I'd like you to begin to find a positive, loving thought for yourself. Take a full deep inhale to send that feeling and that thought into your body, and allow yourself to warm up gently from your inside body. Take one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, release your arms alongside your body. Begin to wiggle out your fingers and your toes. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth and then gently rock your head from side to side. Take a long body stretch, reach your arms high above your head. And stretch really nice and deep into one side. And then into your opposite, just balance out your body. Bring yourself back through neutral, take an inhale and start to squeeze your knees in nice and tight as you exhale. Hold on to either your knees or your shins and begin to find a bit of movement. Gently rock and roll from left to right and right to left. Take another full breath of movement, and as you exhale, find your stillness. Squeeze both of your knees down nice and tight to your body. Hold your right leg in, and extend your left leg all the way long to the mat. Take an inhale to open your right leg up towards the side of your body. And as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your shoulder. 
Another full breath in, your leg can move away. And as you exhale again, drawing the knee in towards your shoulder. Take one more full inhale. Exhale again, adding pressure, drawing your knee in closer. With your next inhale, bring your left hand onto your right knee. Light spinal twist, draw your leg across your body to the opposite side and release your opposite hand onto the ground. Take a deep breath in. Big open mouth exhale, sign out. Full inhale. Big exhale. Next inhale, bring your eyes back towards the ceiling. Pull your body back in through neutral and squeeze both of your knees in nice and tight. Hold your left leg in. Extend right leg all the way long. Take an inhale and open your leg up towards the side of your body. And as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your shoulder. Inhale, find space. Exhale again, draw in towards your shoulder. We'll hold here for one more breath and you can draw in as you exhale if you'd like. One more full deep breath. And when you're ready, light spinal twist, beginning to guide your leg across your body to the opposite side. Take a deep breath in and then again, maybe turn your head towards your hand. Full inhale. Big exhale. Stay here for one more breath. Begin to slowly bring your eyes back towards the ceiling and pull your body back in through neutral. Squeeze both of your knees in tight. Maybe draw your forehead in close towards your knees. And then begin to rock and roll along the length of your spine to bring yourself up to your tabletop pose. We'll safely step our joints. Your wrists are below your shoulders. Your knees are hip distance apart. Find a nice strong back here. And with your first inhale, allow your belly to drop down towards the floor. Eyes rise high to the ceiling to cow. Exhale, round, press back, tuck your chin to chest, cat. Inhale, cow, belly down, eyes rise high. Exhale, cat, round, press back, tuck your chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, round, press back. Last round, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, round, press back. Back into your neutral tabletop and inhale to reach your right arm high. Roll through your right wrist in one direction, into your opposite. Give yourself a large sweeping circle to open up your entire arm. And then unwind and balance yourself out. As your right arm reaches high, inhale and thread right arm behind left. Bring your shoulder and your ear all the way down to the mat. Begin to shift your hips back to neutral. Right hip forward, left hip back, and then find your arm variation. You could reach your left arm towards the top. You could reach back towards either hip for your half bind. Two full breaths, take a deep inhale to fill, and a big exhale to empty. Full breath in, big breath out. One more full inhale. And as you exhale, begin to replace your left hand down. Bring yourself to tabletop. Reach your right arm high. And again, roll out your wrist one direction into the opposite and then release it down. Inhale and reach your left arm up high. Roll out left wrist and unwind. Large, slow, sweeping circle. Open up and balance out. Unwind. Left arm reaches high, inhale and thread the left arm behind right. Shoulder here, all the way down to the mat. Shift your left hip forward, right hip back, and find your arm variation on this side. It might be different, and that's perfectly fine. We'll be here for two full breaths. Take a deep inhale to fill up your lungs. And a big sigh out. Full breath in. Big breath out. Last full inhale. Exhale. Replace your right hand down. Inhale, reach your left arm high. Tabletop. Roll up your wrist and unwind. Bring that back down. 
and spinal extension. Draw your right toes to touch the back of your mat. Pull your belly button and press the mat away. Lift your leg up to the hip height. Reach your left arm towards the top. Take your inhale, and as you exhale, pull your elbow and knee into center and tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, straighten out. Exhale, curl. Two more times. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, tap. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, tap. Inhale, stretch out, and then release back down. Left toes, touch the back of the mat. Belly button in, lift up, press the mat away. Reach your right arm towards the top. Deep breath in. Pull that into center and tap as you exhale and extend it down. Exhale, curl to tap. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, curl. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, curl. Extend and release down. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips up high. Then begin to pedal out your feet a bit. Sashay out your hips from side to side. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Let your ears hang deep between your biceps and begin to nod your head yes and shake your head no. Be here for two more full breaths. You find movement that feels best for your body today. Your next breath, I'd like you to seal down your lips to find your Ujjayi breath. There's a restriction to the back of your throat. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling as if you were fogging up a mirror, but lift your lips closed. Breath is audible. Creates warmth. One more full breath. Bend your knees. Bring your eyes to the top of your mat. Hop, step, or walk to the top. Hands and feet meet. Inhale, half lift. Find a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, Tadasana, arms reach high over your head. Back bend lightly. Go post your arms at the top. Inhale, stand tall. Swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step back to your plank, your elbows will bend in towards your body, your knees can always be down to the mat. Raise your rib cage as you lower all the way down and untuck the tops of your feet. Small cobra, lift up your head, sternum, blow your fingertips to the chest, and exhale to release back down. Tuck your toes either through tabletop or plank, bring yourself back to your downward facing dog. Full breath in, and allow Ujjayi breath as you exhale. Bend your knees. Bring your eyes to the top. Half step or walk to the top. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Tadasana, arms high. Back bend, full post your arms. Inhale, stand tall. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift. Fold, plant your hands, plank, elbows bend in towards your body, releasing all the way down, cobra. Plant weight into your hands, lift up your head and your torso, and exhale, release back down. Through tabletop or plank, arrive back to your downward facing dog. Bend your knees, eyes to the top, hop, step arrive. Half lift, inhale, and fold. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend, go post. Stand tall, last setting, swan dive down. Half lift. Forward fold, plant your hands, plank, step back. Knees can always be down. Upward facing dog, releasing down halfway. Untuck your toes. Thighs are off the mat. Exhale. Press back, down dog. Eyes to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Hop, step and arrive. Half lift, inhale. Toes and heels touch, sink down to chair. Put your arms up high. 
Pull your belly button in, sink down just a little bit more, and now lift up your toes off the mat. Wiggle your toes around just a little bit, and then bring them back down. When you're in your chair, your toes should be able to lift off the mat. Weight is in your heels. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, lean your body forward. Inhale to chair. Exhale and airplane, maybe lift up your heels. Heels back down, inhale, chair. One more time. Exhale in airplane, maybe take flight. Heels down, inhale to chair, hands close. Through heart center, forward fold, half lift. Forward fold, plant your hands, plank. Take any flow that fits for your body today. That could be an upward facing dog, cobra. You could hold your plank, or you could skip it all and just arrive to your downward facing dog. Inhale to reach your right toes high. Press and lunge, sweep through, plant down, begin to rise. Sink down, lift your left heel off the mat, deep breath in. Exhale in your plane, lean forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, airplane. One more time, inhale, rise. Press and lunge. Exhale, airplane, lean forward lightly. Inhale to rise. As you exhale, slice your right arm to back, left arm to front, open to back. Inhale, back through center. And exhale, one more time, open twist. Inhale, back through center. Plant your hands onto the mat. Left, right foot comes back to meet left into your plank. Chaturanga through or arrive back to your downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach your left toes high. Press and lunge, sweep through, plant down. Begin to rise. Left heel is off the mat. Sink down, full breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms to lean forward. Inhale to rise. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, rise. Last time to airplane. Inhale to rise and open twist. Left arm back, right arm to front. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, back to center. Plant your hands down. Left foot back to right plank. Take your flow or arrive. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale if you like. Bend your knees, bring your eyes to the top of your mat, hop and step to a ride. Inhale, half lift, find a flat back, and exhale, chair. Sink your hips down deep, reach your arms up high, and again, sink down. Lift your toes off the mat, wiggle them around just a bit, take a deep breath in. Exhale, slice your right arm to back and left arm to front. Inhale, back to center, and switch that out, left arm back. Inhale, back through center, hands close through heart, forward fold, half lift. Forward fold, plant your hands, plank, step back. Take your flow or fold here, always up to you. Full breath in, big breath out. Inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling, sweep your plant down. Crescent lunge, rise, left heel is off the mat. Sink down just a bit, take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms, lean forward. Inhale, rise. One more time, airplane, lean forward. Inhale, rise. Eagle arms, left arm under right, find your grip. Hands can meet into center, or you can grab hold of your shoulders. Lift your elbows up to your shoulder height. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. Elbows come towards your knee. And then plant your hands down towards the ground. Press them down towards the ground, and then towards the front. Another full deep inhale. Big exhale. 
Stay here one more breath. Next inhale, rise, press and lunge. And twist your arms. Forward fold, plant down. Right foot to left. Plank. Flow through, chaturanga or skip. Inhale, raise your back toes high. Press and lunge. Begin to rise. Sink down. Full inhale. Airplane arms. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale to airplane. Inhale, press and lunge. Eagle arms, right arm under left. Find your grip. Lift up. Exhale, hinge forward, elbows towards knees. Press your elbows down towards the ground for a calf spine. Reach towards the front. Two full breaths. Inhale to rise. Untwist your arms. Forward fold, plant down. Left foot to right, take your flow, lose it, always up to you. Two full breaths, down dog. Maybe pedaling out your feet. Next inhale, reach your right toes high. Press and lunge, sweep through, plant down. Rise. Sink down. Full inhale. Airplane arms lean forward. Inhale, rise. Last time to airplane. Inhale, reach up high. Eagle arms. Left arm on the right. Find your grip. Lift up. Exhale to hinge forward. Either stay here or begin to hinge forward. Left tiptoe is onto the mat and you can stay there or maybe begin to lift up. Eagle warrior three. Reach your arms towards the front. Three full breaths to hold. Last exhale, bring your left toes back down. Press long on twist. Plant your hands down, bring your left knee down and half splits. Start to walk your hands back. Maybe you sink your hips down onto your heel. Or you take fists underneath your hand. Wherever you are, roll up to your ankle in one direction. And then to your opposite. Point your toes towards the front. Flex your foot back towards your body. Hold that flex and then hang your head down nice and heavy. You'll feel the back of your right leg opening up just a bit here. Take a full breath in. Big loud open on the exhale. One more breath to stay. Next inhale, lift up your torso. Walk yourself back to the top. Untuck your left toes and bring yourself back to plank. Take your flow or lose it. Down dog is really deep. Next inhale, reach your left toes high. Press and lunge, sweep through and plant down. Rise. And sink down as well. Full breath in. Airplane your arms lean forward. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale and airplane. Inhale, press and lunge. Eagle arms, right arm under left. Find your grip. Lift up. Pinch forward. Either stay here or send yourself forward an extra inch. Tip of your right toe can stay on the ground or focus point onto the ground, lifting up right leg. Pull your arms towards the front. Three full breaths. One more inhale. As you exhale, lightly plant your toes down. Unwind. Forward fold, plant down. Left foot back to right, chaturanga through. Or hold. Or just arrive. Downward facing dog. 
where we need. Full breath in. Big breath out. One more full inhale. Eyes to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Half step to arrive. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Tadasana, arms reach high. Goal post and back bend lightly. Inhale, stand tall. Eagle arms, left arm under right, find your grip, hands in center or hold on to shoulders. Squeeze your elbows together, lift up. Shoulder height, take an inhale. Exhale, start to sink down towards your chair. Now send energy into your left foot, lift up your right, cross over, either take a full bind or toes onto the mat. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, maybe you start to sink down to your heel. Continue to pull your arms together, lift up to shoulder height, full breath in. Exhale, maybe continue to sink. Two more full breaths, holding in. Next inhale, we can stand up tall. Uncross your arms, uncross your legs. Back bend lightly. Inhale to stand tall, and we're going to switch this up. Left arm, right arm under left, equal arms. Lift up, deep breath in, sink down. Weight is into your right foot, lift up your left, cross over either kickstand or full bind. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink down. Continue squeezing your elbows to the front, lifting up, maybe sinking down. Belly button is in, maybe a nice strong spine. Deep breath. Next inhale, we get to release. Cross your legs, uncross your arms, back bend lightly. Inhale, stand tall, and swan dive down forward fold. Hand lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands and step back to your foot. Either take your flow or lose it, bring yourself back to your downward facing dog. Three full breaths. Just close down your eyes for a moment here and begin to notice your body, your breath, your heartbeat. Next inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling. Warrior one, sweep your plant down next to right thumb, left heel down to the mat, stand tall. Everything shines to the front. 90 degree bend into your front knee, sink down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms, one time lean forward. Inhale, rise, and bring your hands down to your tail. Humble warrior, find a grip, shine your heart to take a breath. Hinge forward, right shoulder towards right knee. Arms can reach towards the front or they stay down towards your tail. Deep breath in, head hangs down just a bit heavier. One more full inhale. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, rise. Release your grip, stand tall. Open through warrior two, slice your left arm to back, right arm front. Open both of your arms to the ceiling, release your shoulders out of your ears. Then close your palms, open right hand, reverse your warrior to the ceiling, and back. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale to reverse. Exhale, warrior two, to extend the side angle. Reach to the front, right arm down. Left arm reaches up nice and high, deep breath in. Big breath out. We'll be here for two more full breaths. If you'd like, you can release your left hand down towards either hip or a half bind. Allow left shoulder to open up towards the back. Maybe reach your right arm towards the front. You're relying on your core, your obliques to hold you up nice and strong. We'll be here for two more breaths. Second exhale, release your right hand down, lift your left arm high, rise, warrior two. Curve all the way down, bring your right foot, right foot back to left into plank. Either take your flow or lose it. 
down dog. Pedal out your feet, breath in, breath out. Inhale, reach your left toes high. Warrior one, sweep through, plant down, right heel to the mat, and stand tall. Sink down just a bit, pull your right hip forward, take a deep inhale. One time, airplane, lean forward, palms face down, and inhale, rise. Humble warrior, hands down to your tail. Find your grip, shine your heart, hinge forward, left shoulder towards left knee. Maybe your arms reach, maybe they don't. Another big breath in, head hangs down nice and heavy. Not yes. Shake no if you'd like. One more inhale. Exhale. Release your grip and stand tall, warrior one. Deep breath in. Open warrior two, heel to arch alignment. Left hand is into the front. Shoulders out of your ears. Open your left hand. Reverse your warrior, ceiling and back. Warrior two, exhale. One more time, inhale, reverse. And exhale, warrior two, to extend the side angle. Reach to the front, left arm down, right arm reaches up nice and high. Deep breath in. Big breath out, either stay here or half bind, right hand down towards either hip. Belly button in, right shoulder opens, and left arm can reach towards the front. Two full breaths. Next exhale, left hand down, warrior high, rise, warrior two. Cartwheel all the way down. Bring your left foot and left back to right. Flow through. Feet back from your right. Full breath in. Big breath out. Bend your knees, spread your eyes to the top of your mat. Hop, step, and rise. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, Tadasana, arms high. Samasthiti, bring your hands down to your heart. Blink your eyes, close your eyes. Notice your breath, your heartbeat. Maybe a bit of warmth that you've created. Blink your eyes open with your next inhale. Lift your right toes off of the mat. Make sure your four corners of your foot plugging down and then allow your toes back down. Begin to kickstand your left, opening up towards the side here. Find a focus point onto the ground, your drishti, three to five feet in front of you, something non-moving. You can either stay here in your tree as you are, or you can begin to lift to low tree. Your foot is below your knee. Maybe you lift all the way up to your high tree. Please avoid any pressure onto your knee. When you feel ready, you can grow your branches. Maybe your branches start to sway in the wind a bit here to challenge your body a bit more. You could jazz hands or fingers as of yesterday. It is spring. Bring a big smile onto your face. Maybe find something to laugh at yourself about. If you'd like to challenge yourself further, you could shift your gaze off of the floor and bring that towards the ceiling. You could close your eyes even if it's just for a split second, and see how that feels to your body. We'll be here for two more breaths. Your second exhale, let your arms hang down heavy to the side, float your left knee in towards the front. Extend and kick out, flex your foot and start small. Take an inhale. Big open mouth exhale. Bend, lift, extend. Take another breath in, big breath out, one more time. Bend, lift, and extend, deep breath in, and out, and then float down. Roll out your hips, roll out your wrists, reach your arms high and back down to heart, samasthiti. Send energy now into your left foot and lift your toes. Bring them back down, kickstand to your right, opening up towards your opposite side. Focus point onto the ground, your drishti. 
Yeah, it's just a speck of dust on the ground. When you feel ready, either you stay here, you lift to your low tree or high, but please avoid your knee at all costs. Your joints taken off weight. Growing branches when you feel ready. Maybe jazz hands in your fingers, branches can sway in the wind. And again, find something to laugh at yourself about. Maybe a bit of humor to raise your day. Shifting your gaze. Closing your eyes. My party begins the best of us. Two more full breaths wherever you are is perfect for your body today. Your second exhale. Put your arms hang heavy to your side. Float your right knee in towards the front. Extend and kick out. Flex your foot. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bend. Lift. Send another full breath. Big breath out. Last time. Then lift. Extend. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Slow down. Roll out your hips. Roll out your wrists. Inhale to Tadasana. And hands back down to your heart. We're going to balance just a little bit more. Send energy again to your right, to your left. And then bring that back down. We'll bring right ankle arm to left knee, moving into our figure four. Flex your toes towards your shin. Take a deep breath in, focus point down to the ground, and as you exhale, begin to sit down. Hips are going to be at the same height, maybe as your knee. You don't have to crunch yourself forward, but if you'd like, you would continue to sink. Your focus point will move with you. This is our figure four, and we'll stay here for two more breaths. Always think hips below heart. One more deep inhale. Big exhale to stay. Inhale, begin to stand up tall. Kick your right foot out to the front. Drop that back down. Energy is going to be into your right foot. Lift up your left. Ankle onto your knee. Figure four. Flex your foot. Where's your shin? Take an inhale. Focus point down to the ground, and as you exhale, sinking down to find your edge. Hips stay below heart. Two more full breaths. Next inhale, release. Stand tall, kick your left foot out. Drop that back down. Roll out your hips last time. Inhale to Dasa arms, reach high as you exhale, swan dive down, forward folds. Half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands and plank. Take your flow or lose it, always up to you. Right it back to your downward facing dog when you feel ready. Deep breath in, big breath out. Eyes to the top, bend your knees, hop, step and rise, take a seat. We're going to move into our boat pose, so I'd like you to wiggle around to find your sit bones just a bit. Sit up nice and tall, find a nice flat back. Toes are going to stay onto the mat for right now. Deep inhale as you exhale, belly button in, and begin to lean back just a bit. When your toes want to lift up throughout the next boat, you can allow them to lift half. You can bring them full if you'd like. But we're going to be here for a moment. So toes onto the ground is perfectly fine. You're going to have all the same benefits as everybody else. If you want to feel this more in the top part of your core, where your rib cage meets, you lean your head back just a bit. Our heads all weigh 12 to 14 pounds. It's a lot of extra weight pulling on your core. Lean yourself back as much as you feel and embrace the shake into your core. This is going to find you more muscles. Now from here, if you're starting to feel frustrated, you can pedal out your feet from side to side. It has some really great benefits. It teaches your abs to sew themselves back together so you don't have a huge divide down the center. It takes your mind off of your stomach. And it's kept you here for a couple more seconds. 
I'm gonna be here for two more full breaths. Your second exhale, bring your toes back down. So a tall resting breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Again, boat, toes planted onto the mat this time and stay there. Hands at your heart and lean back. Full breath in. Exhale, twist on either side. Move on your breath, inhale through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Back into center and forward. Inhale, opposite side. Inhale up and twist. One more each. Exhale to twist. Inhale back. Exhale, twist. Inhale back. Pull your knees into your body. Cross your ankles. Plant your hands down in front of your body. And bring yourself back to your downward facing dog. Cuddling out. You can take a flow here in the middle of your life. Full breath in. Big breath out. Next inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling. Pigeon pose, right knee towards your right wrist. Shin is in line towards the top edges of your mat. Start to slide your left leg back. Sit up tall. As you exhale, you can start to walk your hands towards the front. Maybe you come down to forearms. Maybe you stack your fists and allow your head to rest all the way down. If you have more space, your hands can be planted onto the ground and your forehead can rest there. Please don't roll your body towards the left hand side. We want to keep our hips in neutral here. We'll be here for three more breaths. One more full inhale. Big exhale. Next inhale, plant weight into your hands. Lift yourself up, quad stretch. We'll find a deep, deep bend to our left foot. Move your right hand in the center. Left hand can reach back. Maybe grab a hold of your foot, take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe draw your forehand towards your feet just a bit. Be conscious of your body. Full breath in and out. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, don't let your foot flop, but let go and start to swing back around to the front. Right foot is going to meet the inner thigh of your left leg. Sit up tall, take an inhale, reach your arms high. Rotate your torso, rib cage towards your left knee. As you exhale, jump into your shots now. Let your body melt down wherever you lay on this perfect. You can take this really passive and just allow your body to melt down. But if you'd like this to be a bit more active as you inhale, sit up tall and exhale, maybe draw yourself down just a bit more. You can continue moving with this. One more full breath in. Big breath out. Start to walk your hands back off your left leg. Swing left leg over right. We're going to take it to this. Reach your right arm high. Rotate again towards the left. Either hook your elbow or hug and place your left hand down behind your body. Sit up tall as you inhale. Exhale, begin to bring your eyes to your back left shoulder. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, maybe rotate just a bit more. One more full breath in. Big breath out. Release, rotate back to center. Cross your legs, send that behind you, and plant your hands back to your downward facing dog. Maybe a big sweeping circle with your right leg, resetting your hip one direction, and then to the opposite. Right back down. Reach your left toes high. Pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist. Shin is in line towards the top edges. Slide your right leg back. Sit up tall. 
So we could mention when you feel ready, walk your hands towards the front, forearms, fists, or hands onto the ground. Let your body begin to melt. Please don't roll towards the right hand side here. Keep your hips neutral. Focusing on your breath. Make sure that you're not holding. One more full breath in and out. Plant weight into your hands. Inhale to lift up your torso again. Quad stretch, deep, deep bend to your right knee. Left hand can move into center, right hand can reach back. Maybe you find a grip, maybe you don't. As you exhale, you can draw your foot in towards your body. As much as feels good. Another breath in. Exhaling, maybe adding pressure, it's up to you. Slowly release. Swing to the right leg around to the front. Left foot meets your inner thigh, sit up tall. Reach your arms high, rotate to the right. Down your sure shot to that, hinge forward, wherever you land is perfect. Again, think about your body. As you inhale, extend or sink down. Two more breaths. Inhale to walk your hands back towards your body. Swing your right leg over your left. Reach left arm high, rotate towards your right, either hook or hug, and plant your right fingertips down behind your body. Inhale to sit up tall. As you exhale, begin to turn towards your back right shoulder. Be easy with yourself. Another inhale. Exhale, maybe twisting further. Or last breath to stay. Release and rotate back through center. Swing your right leg around to the back. And one last time to your downward facing dog. Three legged dog if you like. Lift your left leg up high. And last time for a big sweeping circle, resetting your hip one direction. And then it's the opposite. Plant back down, bring your eyes to the top. Bend your knees. Hop, step, walk to the top. Take a seat. Roll onto your back. And pull your knees in nice and tight. Rock and roll side to side. One more full breath in and out. Find your stillness, plant your feet onto the ground. Hands palm side down along your body and inhale, lifting up into your bridge. Press weight into your feet, lift up your hips high. Keep your eyes on your ceiling and either stay right here or take a chest expansion. Interlock your hands below your body. Shimmy one shoulder at a time until you reach the height that feels good. You can open up your chin from your collarbone as you can look at your back wall and continue to press weight into your feet, visualizing your thighs lifting up higher and higher to the ceiling. Continue breathing through your abdomen. One more breath. As you exhale, begin to release your chest expansion. Shoulders back to neutral. Iron now, tailbone touches down, pull your knees in tight. One more time, rock side to side. And we're going to take one last twist. Plant your left foot onto the ground, right ankle onto left knee, and we're not going to try to. Open your arms up to a T, take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, roll your legs towards your left hand side until your right foot comes onto the ground. Right knee is open high. This is your supine pigeon twist. You 
could turn your head towards your right hand if you'd like. So just continue your body spiral. Take your left hand on top of your right knee and maybe add a bit of pressure, drawing your knee down towards your body. This is for your IT band stretch, your right leg, your right hip, glute. One more breath in. Big breath out. Release that press. Bring your eyes back towards the ceiling and pull your body back into neutral and cross your legs. Squeeze your knees in tight and switch that out. Right foot onto the ground, left ankle onto your right knee. Open your arms up to a T as you exhale. Roll your legs towards your right hand side. Left foot onto the ground, left knee is open high. Arms are to a T, eyes could be towards your left hand. Full breath in and out before we move on. Right hand onto your left knee. Add pressure for that IT band, hugging your knee down towards your body as much as you could. Full breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Eyes back towards the ceiling. Release your press. Pull your body back in through neutral, uncross your legs. Squeeze both of your knees in tight and again, rock and roll left to right. Open your knees up a bit wider to the side. Continue to rock side to side. Happy baby, when you feel ready, reach for the inner parts of your feet, behind your calves or behind your thighs, whatever is accessible, flex your toes towards your face, smile onto your face, make yourself an authentic happy baby and begin to find a bit of movement, deeply bend one leg, extend the other and rock and roll between. Maybe you start to practice stretching both of your legs at one time. When you're ready, begin to find your stillness, dead bug, deep bend to your knees, hold on to your feet. Add pressure to draw down and then press your feet back into your hands. One more time, go down, press back, full breath in. Bring your feet towards each other in center. Supine cobbler's pose, feet meet in center, knees are open wide, bring that all the way down to the ground. Hands can plant onto your inner thighs, applying a small amount of weight there if you'd like. You could bring one hand onto your heart, hand onto your abdomen, or you could parenthesis your arms around your head. Just let yourself feel open. Expansive. Close down your eyes. One last time. Just observe how you feel now, as opposed to an hour ago before this moment. Notice where your mind is. And again, notice your breath. Is it feeling restricted or does it feel open, easy, fluid, and flowing? One more full breath in. Big breath out. Your hands towards the outer edges of your knees. Assist in closing down your knees. Squeeze them in nice and tight. Pull your forehead in close, drawing in to a teeny tiny ball. Full breath. As you exhale, allow your body to find Shavasana. Take up your space. 
Consciously extend your arms and your legs. Close down your eyes. Let your eyelids feel heavy. Let your body feel as if you're sinking down just a bit further and further with each exhale. Consciously relaxing your toes, ankles, calves, knees, and thighs. Maybe just visualize your body melting down. We will allow our bodies to rest here in our yogi nap time for a few moments. So while we're in our Shavasana, I'd like you to just do a small meditation for your body of gratitude. Starting at the tips of your toes, outer layers of your skin. As if you were to start to take another body scan, staying in your Shavasana. Begin to draw that energy into the tips of your toes. Feeling into the soles of your feet. Begin to give your body a bit of gratitude. Gratitude for the thousands and thousands of places that your feet will take you throughout your life. Beginning to bring that energy up into your ankles, your knees. Feeling a bit of warmth, a bit of gratitude coming into the joints, allowing you to move forward in life. Slowly visualizing that energy coming up into your hips. Take a full breath in, big sigh out. Notice if you're clenching down on your jaw, release your tongue from the top of your mouth. Give your hips gratitude. They do so much for us throughout our day, pushing us forward in life. Bringing that energy into your core. Giving your body a bit of gratitude and thanks. Your rib cage, your lungs, allowing you to breathe fluidly into your heart and giving your body a bit of gratitude. Thanks for allowing your body to be loved and to love. Into your throat for the beautiful gift of speech. Your ears for the wonderful gift of sound. Your mouth for the wonderful gift of taste. Your nose, for the gift of smell. 
in your eyes for that beautiful gift of sight. Bringing that all up to your brain. Beginning to thank yourself from top to bottom. This well-oiled machine pushing us forward in life. You can stay here longer in your Shavasana if you like. But if you are ready to begin to move on with the rest of your day, bring light movements again into your fingers and into your toes and deepen your breath. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth and gently rock your head from side to side. And one last time, take a long body stretch. Put your arms high above your head and stretch nice and deep into one side and then into your opposite. And when you feel ready, roll onto your right hand side into your fetal position and pause. Drawing your knees in towards your chest, allow yourself to come back into that positive, loving feeling that you found for yourself at the very beginning of class. Allow that to fill you and last with you for the rest of your day, your week, and your month. When you feel prepared with your eyes closed, press yourself up to seated, bring your hands to heart center. Connect your thumbs onto your sternum. Eyes blinked closed or drop your gaze down towards your thumbs. And one last time for today, feel your breath as your inhale comes in cool and your exhale leaves your body just a bit warmer. Give your body praise and gratitude for everything it does for you throughout your day, constantly pushing you forward in life without ever asking. It's such a pleasure to be able to share your time and your practice. The teacher in me, the light in me, sees, honors, and truly, truly respects the teacher and the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste.